first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody that supported this cause. Thank you to everybody that wanted to help out. All the 5,000 donors, 5,000 plus donors, all the like 40,000 comments we had on that video collectively. I think there was over about 50,000 to be honest. My family and I want to say thank you to the hundreds of thousands of people in just thought and prayer. This is going to be a long process. You know, I don't think you guys fully understand how much medical bills and long-term care is. I think a lot of people think that I can't afford this personally. And I also want to dig a little bit more personal into this. I'm the only one making income out of my family at the moment. My mom is unemployed right now and it's, it's just tough right now, okay? So I'm the only one making income. I technically could afford it. I, I technically can, but when it's all said and done, it's at the point where I'd be going almost zero. <laughs> like, I'm being serious. I'm almost at the point where I'm going zero. I make good money on YouTube, but I cannot stress medical bills. And especially when it's just put on me, it, it's difficult with me. I, I guess I saved a good amount, but you know, I just bought a house. You know, I can't, it's not like a I sell the house just like that or yeah, I guess technically I could sell the Corvette and, and pay it off in full and, and lose money on that and contribute that towards uh, the cost of the medical bills and stuff like that. And, and it's not just the medical bills we're talking about. We're talking more into 24 seven care, which that's what we're getting more into about how expensive this is going to be as well. So um, I think I also want to be smart about it. I don't think I just want to quickly sell this Corvette. I bought it for like 55. I think I got a pretty good deal. I think 54. I got a pretty good deal on it. And if I if I paid off in full now and sell it, I'd probably make, let's say about 46 back. So I'd lose money. But at the end of the day, I don't think that's smart right now. I think right now, I, and, and I think some people think that I'm not helping financially, guys. I, that <laughs> it's, it's kind of overwhelming and, and, and stressful to, to see comments like this. But guys, I help as much as I can financially. Whether you may believe it or not, that's up to you guys. But I just want to let you guys know that we want to be smart about everything. Uh, I based all that out of reaction. GoFundMe. I don't regret it, but you know. I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate you guys helping. Yes, I can afford it, but we're talking about, you know, I, I I wouldn't have enough to pay for mortgage and stuff like that. So we need to be smart. We need to also think about myself in this situation since I'm the only one trying to pay for this all. You know, my mom's helping as much as she can, as much as she saved up, but you know, it's tough right now. So I appreciate you guys. 60,000 could cover for maybe two to three months of this specific care that we're doing and we're that we're dealing with, but we're also thinking about long term, man. We're not just thinking about okay, sixty thousand, you know, uh, that's gonna cover for this, and then we'll be done, okay? We're not just gonna shred all of our pockets away and just go bankrupt just for my dad. I don't think my dad would want that, okay? So all the people that wanted to judge and criticize, that say, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. This is how my family and I decided to do it, and um, uh, we're gonna close off the GoFundMe because we feel like this is a good amount that would really help us out with my dad, okay? And I want to say thank you guys so much for all your. Your thoughts and prayers and all the support i understand what i was getting myself into putting this issue uh putting medical bills on some of my followers i understand what i was getting myself into but what really shined through this entire process was the fact that there are people that just genuinely understand me there's people that sort of understand me <laughs> and there's people that just want to completely hate me and, and just form a cult and just hate me i listen um, I understand both sides of the coin. I get it. Controversy. It's a thing that happens in this world. Controversy. I can't, I can't be the one to complain about it. I'm the, I'm the one to accept it right now. What you guys wanted to do for my dad is what you guys wanted to do in your heart. You guys had it in your heart to do it for my dad. And 60000 I think it's 63000 after the fees, is what me and my mom and my brother are going to manage for his treatment. Now, this 63000 could go away pretty quick. And um, we're talking about maybe a month or two, but we'll keep everybody updated through Twitter and Instagram stories and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, we'll, we'll try to create like a little t-shirt Thomas Strong for those who donated and, and just kind of give out some to people that really supported this. You know, I know there was controversy. I know there was things people wanted me to do this and that, and they want to call me selfish and stuff like that. But listen, I expected this to happen and I don't want to completely attack people that want just to completely criticize me without seeing both sides of the coin. But uh, medical bills are no joke and goes by like that quick and your 63,000 is helping out a lot, guys. More than you'll ever know. Um, it helps me. It helps my mom, it helps everybody, my family, help take care of my dad. And um, we're gonna find him the best treatment. We're gonna find him the best everything, top of the line treatment. Like we understand there's no cure. There was a very hateful comments. I, I just don't understand. I don't want to acknowledge it. But there was hateful, hateful comments just because they wanted me to do this and they thought this way was the right way and they that I didn't do it that way. And then they just wanted to say really hateful things towards my dad, which was really bad. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for understanding 
whew, man, um, it just, <laughs> all this love is really overwhelming to see this amount of people really help. It was not just about donations. It was also about just having a community stand by something and support my dad. And I think my dad felt that love and that, that energy being transferred from the internet to the, to him. <laughs> so, um, every single time I visited him, I always asked him how he felt like on a scale of one to 10, he was saying like an eight and a seven. I was like, you know, a million people are thinking about you. Well, not a million. I mean, we have a million subscribers, but I want, I wanted to say a hundred of thousands, but I think it's hard for my dad to process things. So I just said, Millions of people are thinking about you, Dad, and he, he just got some type of energy and happiness. There was like a little smirk in his face, like, thank you for your holiness, you know? So, my dad appreciates you. I appreciate you. All this questioning, I get it. I understand it, but uh, this is this is what you guys decided to do for me. Thank you guys so much. Um, we're not going to go too into detail, but this is, uh, this, I, we're true. I'm truly grateful. I am truly grateful to have this platform to just to reach out for help man and um i promise i swear to god like i i will never ask you guys for like this ever again but um i promise you guys the best content i will promise you guys the damn best content for for the rest of the remainder of black ops 4 and modern warfare you guys know how we do it on modern warfare we go completely ham okay so um i promise you the best content that i could put out god bless you guys god bless you all seriously we understand. Thank you guys so much for everything you guys do for me. And, um, <clears throat> shit, man. I love you guys.